Now let's review the product to sum formulas. Here's the first one. Sine alpha cosine beta is equal to 1 half times cosine alpha minus beta minus cosine alpha plus beta. So that's the first one you need to know. Now let's write the other three. The next one is cosine alpha times cosine beta. And that's equal to 1 half cosine alpha minus beta. And this time, we're going to have a positive sign instead of a negative sign. So plus cosine alpha plus beta. And so that's it for the second equation. Now the third one is this one. Sine alpha cosine beta is equal to 1 half. Now this time we're going to be using sine instead of cosine. So it's sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta. And finally, the last one you need to know is cosine alpha sine beta, which is equal to 1 half sine alpha plus beta minus sine alpha minus beta. So those are the four equations that you need. Now let's use the product to sum formulas to simplify trigonometric expressions. So let's say we have sine 7x times sine 4x. How can we simplify this expression? Now if you recall, sine alpha times sine beta is equal to 1 half cosine alpha minus beta minus cosine alpha plus beta. So in this example, notice that alpha is 7x, beta is 4x. So using the formula, it's going to equal 1 half cosine alpha minus beta or 7x minus 4x minus cosine alpha plus beta, which is 7x plus 4x. 7x minus 4x is just 3x. And 7x plus 4x is 11x. So therefore, this is the answer. Sine 7x times sine 4x is equal to 1 half cosine 3x minus cosine 11x. Let's try another example. Sine 9x times cosine 3x. Feel free to pause the video and use the product to sum formula to simplify this expression. So let's begin with the equation. Sine alpha cosine beta, that's equal to 1 half sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta. So go ahead and use that equation and simplify the expression. So first, we need to identify the two angles. Alpha is 9x, beta is 3x. So this is going to be equal to 1 half sine 9x plus 3x plus sine 9x minus 3x. So 9x plus 3x, that's 12x. 9x minus 3x is 6x. So here we have the final answer. Sine 9x cosine 3x is equal to what we have here. Now let's go over the sum to product formulas that you need to know. So the first one is this. Sine alpha plus sine beta. So we have a sum of two trig functions. 
this is equal to 2 sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 times cosine alpha minus beta over 2. So if you need to add two sine values with different angles, you can use that formula. Now the next one, sine alpha minus sine beta. So this is equal to 2 sine alpha minus beta divided by 2 times cosine alpha plus beta divided by 2. Number 3, cosine alpha plus cosine beta. So that's equal to 2 cosine alpha plus beta. This is basically the average of the two angles. And then times cosine alpha minus beta divided by 2. Now the last one, cosine alpha minus cosine beta, that's equal to negative 2. It's a little different than the last ones. Negative 2 sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 times sine alpha minus beta over 2. So those are the four formulas that you need to know. Let's work on this example. Sine 8x plus sine 3x. Let's simplify this expression. So first, let's write the formula. Sine alpha plus sine beta is equal to 2 sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 multiplied by cosine alpha minus beta divided by 2. So alpha is 8x, and beta is 3x. So then this is going to be 2 sine alpha plus beta, 8x plus 3x, divided by 2, times cosine alpha minus beta, 8x minus 3x, divided by 2. 8x plus 3x, that's 11x. And 8x minus 3x, is 5x. So therefore, sine 8x plus sine 3x is equal to 2 sine 11x divided by 2 times cosine 5x divided by 2. Let's try another example. Cosine 11x plus cosine 3x. Use the sum to product formula to simplify this expression. So let's write the equation that we need first. Cosine alpha plus cosine beta, that's equal to 2 cosine alpha plus beta divided by 2 multiplied by cosine alpha minus beta over 2. So now, you want to identify what alpha is equal to. So we can see that alpha is 11x, and let's make beta 3x. So alpha plus beta, 11x plus 3x. And on this side, we have alpha minus beta. That's 11x minus 3x. So 11x plus 3x, that's 14x. And 11x minus 3x is 8x. 14x divided by 2 is 7x. 8x divided by 2 is 4x. So here is our final answer. Let's try this example. Simplify sine 75 plus sine of 15 degrees. So what we have is a sum of two sine values. So we got to use the sum to product formula. So we know it's sine alpha plus sine beta and that's equal to 2 sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 times cosine alpha minus beta divided by 2. So let's identify the angles. Alpha is 75, beta is 15. Now let's plug in the angles into the formula. So alpha plus beta, that's 75 plus 15. Cosine alpha minus beta that's 75 minus 15. Now 75 plus 15 is 90. 
90 divided by 2 is 45. 75 minus 15 is 60. 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now sine 45 is equal to the square root of 2 divided by 2. Cosine 30 is the square root of 3 divided by 2. And so we can cancel the 2's. 2 times 3 is 6, so we're going to have the square root of 6 divided by 2. And so that is the exact value of this expression. Now let's work on a verifying identity problem. Let's show that sine x plus sine 3x divided by cosine x plus cosine 3x. Let's prove that this is equal to tangent 2x. So on top, we have the sum of two sine functions. So therefore, we need to use the sum to product formula, which is sine alpha plus sine beta is equal to 2 sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 times cosine alpha minus beta divided by 2. So alpha, I'm going to choose the larger angle to be alpha, that's 3x. And I'm going to make the smaller one beta. So that's going to be equal to 2 sine alpha plus beta, that's 3x plus x, divided by 2 times cosine alpha minus beta, 3x minus x divided by 2. Now, on the bottom, we have the sum of two cosine values. Cosine alpha plus cosine beta, that's equal to 2 cosine alpha plus beta divided by 2 times cosine alpha minus beta divided by 2. Hopefully, your teacher will give you a formula sheet so you don't have to memorize these equations because that would be a difficult thing to do or at least it's going to be time consuming. Now cosine x plus cosine 3x, that's going to be 2 cosine alpha plus beta 3x plus x divided by 2. And cosine alpha minus beta, that's going to be 3x minus x divided by 2. So these two expressions are exactly the same. So therefore, we don't need them around, we can cancel it. 3x plus x is 4x, and 4x divided by 2 is 2x. We could also cancel the 2. So we're left over with sine 2x divided by cosine 2x. And sine divided by cosine is tangent. So therefore, we verified the identity.